If you're a heating and air exchange technician or a salesperson, what is psychological priming and how does it help you close some deals? This is an important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you for HVAC technician sales secrets. So psychological priming is something very cool that you could use when you talk to your buyers, your clients, whoever you're having a process with. Now, the thing that you need to know is you could use psychological priming with words, colors, shapes, phrases, books, emotions, the list can go on and on and on. So I'm gonna give you an intro to the topic more than the whole macro experience. So uh, let's say that you have a product that you wanna sell and it's $1,000. Well, you have to prepare the mind for a $1,000 statement. And I'm gonna go way to crazy town on this and I'm gonna use the number a million, okay? I'm gonna use this number a million. So let's say that I'm gonna sit down with a buyer and I am gonna sell them this $1,000 product. And let's say it's an air scrubber. I know they range in price, right? So you could say something along the lines of, it's possible, it's possible to feel a million times better after getting an air scrubber. Now, I'm just using this as an example. Please don't use this exact example and go into a home and say, you're gonna feel a million times better. Because if you make that promise, you're not gonna live up to it. So there's a lesson in this, you can go too far, okay? So I wanted to go to the absurd, right? I've got a thousand dollar product, I can say a million. Realistically, you only need 10 times the amount. So if I was gonna do this, I would just fold this right here, ignore the little commas right there, and I would say, hey, you know, I've had people tell me that for this thousand dollar product after the, the issues that it's helped them with, they would have gladly paid $10,000, where it's true. So don't make stuff up. So like, Scott, give me an example that I can use. This is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com, okay? So this is one of the things that I, I really worked with technicians on uh, when I was a corporate trainer, is let's say that they were gonna go into a home and, and they were gonna ask for $1,000. Well, they would go into a home and they'd grab their floor savers and the homeowner would say, hey, you don't have to put that on. And then they would say, hey, well, it feels like, it feels like I've put these on 10,000 times. So it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be money that you're representing when you have this conversation. It can be an event, right? So let's say that you have a $300 part or a $400 part, okay? So you talk to the homeowner and they say, hey, this $400 part is a lot of money. You could have circumvented that by saying, hey, this year we're gonna run 10,000 service calls. So you have to think in, in linear fashion and think like, here it is at eight o'clock. What are things do I have to say to Prime? Not going overboard, you only need one statement. You don't have to go to crazy town and say, a million, a million, a million, a million, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. You don't have to do that for a thousand dollar product, right? You only, have, you only have to say it once. So somebody go into somebody's home and they say, hey, you don't have to wear your floor savers. Just see, it feels like I've put these things on 10,000 times. It's automatic for me so that later on you can have a $1,000 conversation, right? All you're doing is preparing the mind for a conversation. All you're doing is, is saying, here are some possibilities, here's some things that I could do. Now, I wanna give you a bonus. I, I had a wrong belief as a trainer for a couple of years till I got pulled aside by somebody pretty famous and said, hey, Scott, you gotta know this isn't how it works. So you may hear uh, trainers talk to you about getting people on the yes train and consistently saying yes. There is a part where the brain reacts and goes, time out, I'm being manipulated. So I wanna introduce you to the concept of a no set, right? So I could ask you a forward question and say, hey, do you think you would wanna to go to Hawaii? And you would probably say yes. I would say yes, just so you know. And then you might come back with a no set and say, hey, I bet you don't wanna get stuck in travel, do you? That's a no set because now I'm answering a no question. So the reason I'm bringing this up is there is a mistake that I see technicians make, salespeople make, and even trainers, even trainers make this mistake where they go overboard and they start using way too much crazy town. They use way too much crazy town and it ends up hurting the sales process. It's like, what are you doing? No, that's not how it works. Too many S's has the possibility, has the possibility of getting you in trouble. So you could vary your conversations. You could ask questions that are gonna to lead to a yes. 
And then you can ask a couple of questions that are going to lead to a no, which if somebody's agreeing you with a no, that is a reverse set. And you gotta learn how to use these things. A little bit more advanced of a technique, but I see trainers out there a lot saying, just keep getting people to say yes. Just keep people, you're get, you getting people to say yes. It's entirely possible to do that, but you end up with resistance in the sales process and it does create a challenge. You've got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button, click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says HVAC technicians sell secrets, send out another fantastic video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon.